Let us all come together to fight this menace, called coronavirus, by taking necessary precautions and following all guidelines, issued by the authorities. Here are some simple steps to be, followed, whereby you can keep yourself, and your near and dear ones safe, and indirectly keep your country, and the world at large safe. Let us play our roles, as responsible citizens. First and foremost, wash your hands at regular and frequent intervals. Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands, with alcohol-based hand rub, or wash them with soap and water, for at least 20 seconds, several times a day. Ensure that you are washing your hands, including the spaces, between your fingers, and under your nails and using plenty of soap and warm water. You can also use a hand sanitizer, that contains, at least 60% alcohol, before cooking or eating. This must also be practiced after using the bathroom or washroom. After blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. Washing your hands, with soap and water, or using alcohol-based hand rub, is known to kill viruses. Avoid touching eyes, nose, and mouth. Our hands touch many surfaces, and can pick up viruses. Virus may live, and thrive on surfaces, like cash or credit cards. Wash your hands thoroughly, after handling cash, or credit cards, before touching your face. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose, or mouth. From there, the virus can enter, your body and can make you sick. Make sure you and the people, around you, follow good respiratory hygiene. This means, covering your mouth and nose, with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Then dispose of the used tissue immediately. Droplets spread virus. By following good respiratory hygiene, you protect the people around you, from all kinds of viruses such as cold, flu and COVID-19. Maintain social distancing. Maintain at least, one meter distance, between yourself and anyone, who is coughing or sneezing. When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets, from their nose and mouth, which may contain virus. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets, including the coronavirus, if the person coughing has the disease. Avoid crowded places, to blunt the spread of the virus. Avoid large gatherings, sports events, movie theaters, crowded restaurants, parties, anywhere, where you would be in close contact with people. Let's not be social. Now is the time to stay home to, flatten that curve. Do not shake hands, or give hugs as greetings. Use an alternative greeting, that maintains 6 to 8 feet of distance, it is time for everyone to take this seriously, and participate in, social distancing, together. If we don't, it is going to spell disaster. Do not wear a mask unless you are sick. Masks help protect others from catching the virus, but wearing one, when you are healthy, will not do much. They should only be worn, by people who have been affected, by the coronavirus or people who are taking care of patients. Demand has been so high worldwide, that shortages have begun. Leave the masks for people, who really need them, like the sick or healthcare professionals. Do wipe down all surfaces, you come into contact with. Any regular bleach containing household products, is likely to be effective. Wipe down doorknobs, countertops, stairways and railings, and light switches in your home once every two to three days. For kids, wipe down their toys or wash them in soap and water. Same is true for packages. To be safe, wash your hands after you handle a package. Virus particles can survive for days on hard, non-porous, surfaces, so it is important to keep these clean. Do help out an elderly neighbor, who may be in need, or has chronic medical problems, and cannot go out to stock up on their own. Shelve all your travel plans for now. It is imperative that you travel, only if it is absolutely necessary, or urgent. Do not travel otherwise. Probability of you, catching an infection at places, such as airports and airplanes, is quite high. Advisable, that if you cannot avoid traveling, that you take all the required precautions, and get yourself screened on landing. We need to be alert, and recognize fake news, which seems, to be making the rounds these days. The internet, is full of information about the symptoms, and cure available for coronavirus. Believe only what comes from a reliable source, or a reliable medical practitioner. Propagating wrong information, and false promises, about cure for the disease, has added to the panic. Promotion of health kits, and alternative ways to cure the infection, seems to be, rampant in the internet. Do not fall prey yourself or be part of a group that propagates any information that is not from a reliable source. Chances of taking wrong and ill-informed decisions, because of panic and anxiety, can cause adverse effects, in controlling the outbreak. Situation needs to be tackled sensibly, calmly and courageously, and is not impossible. 
rest assured you will be safe and sound if and only if no stone is left unturned in following each and every precautionary measure that needs to be taken. Here's to all of us, staying fit as fiddle. If you found this interesting please like, share, and subscribe.